Hey guys, today's review, ramble review, um, is going to be about Beautiful Boy. Now this has been out for a fair while. A fair while. <laughs> but we missed it at our usual cinema, but yeah. somehow our little tiny town cinema is playing it. So that's what we just saw. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. And I have very mixed feelings about it. So do I. Um, yes. So it's a biographical film yeah i'm not sure if it is based on an actual true story yeah or it's I just think kind it is. of like i think there's a book called beautiful boy by the dad oh okay it's yeah. like a memoir of him and his son and his son also has a book that makes sense uh so it's the story of david chef who uh is a, is a father to his son nick and mm. when nick turns like 18 you know starts going out into the world uh he eventually becomes addicted to crystal meth and you know he goes through endless rehabs and all sorts of programs and just nothing seems to work and it's just a story of how david wants to help his son um through researching as much as possible into this and you know trying out different things and just kind of their relationship i suppose yeah definitely. and we have uh, steve carell as david yes and timothy chalamet as nick yes he is truly a beautiful boy he really is was... and i feel like the casting for younger him was like Bon. It's like, are you sure you are not related like, to Timothy legit, Chalamet? They could play brothers, and yeah. I would be like, I believe it. This is believable. Yeah, really? it was just sad because he is such a beautiful man, and like, I mean, not that it should make a difference whether no, you're like, physically no, attractive or but, not. Um, but you know, it's called Beautiful Boy. It makes sense. Once the end of the film, you obviously see him become like more and more of an addict, and you like yeah. see how the the drug physically affects him, and it's just very sad to see how it physically can transform a person. Yeah. The film doesn't have a lot of structure to it. It doesn't, which I feel like kind of makes sense for the subject matter. That yeah. it's supposed to be a bit all over the place. Yeah. But I did find myself not, I don't know, not necessarily not being interested, but mm -hmm. I was like waiting for like the big moment to happen for a long yeah. time, you know what I mean? Like this big climax of a film where you don't really get, I don't think. No. I think it very much kind of like plays along with how it would happen in real life. You yeah. Know, like, Obviously, to them, it is this big event. But, yeah, like, yeah. You see it passing every day, really. Um, and it, like, it flashes back to like when he was a child mm. and like there's just their relationship blossoming. And they do have a really beautiful relationship. Yeah, they do. It's like son. a very, like, it is, I would say, different to what you'd usually have a stereotypical father son relationship. Mm -hmm. They are very close, even though he's like a grown up adult. You know, usually yeah. you don't see that very often, especially mm -hmm. within like film and stuff. I thought the film tackled like how obviously he was struggling as a parent but like he wasn't only a parent to nick he also had two younger yeah children yeah. and another wife and he was thinking mm. well this is my son like i have to do as much as possible to try and protect him and keep him safe and mm. help him but also he had this other family that he was kind of well, not neglecting no. you know what i mean like yeah. he was putting obviously you'd put your own son first but yeah, like yeah. he had to sort of step back and look at the bigger picture that all of this was affecting the rest of his family and yeah. he knew eventually that there was like not a lot he could do to help yeah like once they get past a certain point you can't you can't it's... help them you can't stop them he, he did everything really. in his power he did he, he did more than enough i think yeah. a lot of people would have had a lot less patience in this situation you just see like how it is it just gets i feel situation. like it's a very frustrating film to watch but yeah. i feel like that's the point of it mm -hmm. That you're just sitting there like why is he doing this like yeah. why you know what i mean because you don't understand if you don't like have you haven't been through addiction or anything you don't necessarily understand how yeah. it feels it's just it's quite uncomfortable to watch in places it was it was i'm not a big fan of needles me either as it is so <laughs> if you have a phobia of um people injecting themselves or just drug misuse don't don't see this of seeing steve carell in this kind of role mm -hmm. because you very rarely see him in a serious role yeah, and I feel like true. he does it so well, and I just I just love seeing him like actually have emotions other than just being really stupid on the office. I loved um, his second wife. I don't know what her the actress's yeah. name is, but I thought she was amazing, especially in that scene where she's like following him in the car. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my god, this is like killing me inside. Yeah, you can see she was like really torn between like trying to help him and like yeah. you know really having to step back and focus on she was the one that's well. like you have, you have to realize that we're your family too you know? timothy chalamet was great yeah he was broke my little heart into a million pieces because right at the beginning i was like mm, i'm not sure how i feel about this i feel like you see him kind of like twist into this like weird horrible just yeah 
diseased creature from yeah. drugs. You can see, just... you can definitely see, like it's affecting the way he behaves and stuff. Because yeah. like he has this relationship with his girl, and she's all like, you know, like, will you stay with me? And he says yes, and he doesn't. It's just, it's very frustrating to watch. Basically, don't do drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Go watch it if you're interested in that kind of thing, or if you just like Timothy Chalamet. Which then... is why we watched. <laughs> yeah, and I just love Steve Carell as well. So. This is true. Yeah. yeah. That's all we've got to say about that. Subscribe to Ellen. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to this. Subscribe to this. We'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye. Subscribe to Ellen. Subscribe.